When assessing dose response, multiple plates of cells, media, reagents, and expensive treatments can be reduced to a single plate using the real-time glow, annexin-5, and necrosis assay. Endpoint assays that detect apoptosis and cytotoxicity require multiple plates to get time course information. Assay development using real-time methods use only one plate and much less consumables to measure apoptosis and cytotoxicity continuously out to 72 hours using a simple plate reading luminometer. It's as easy as adding the reagent at any point during the assay and measuring luminescence and fluorescence as many times as desired for the same well. Real-time glow, annexin-5 apoptosis and necrosis assay measures the real-time exposure of phosphatidylserine on the outer leaflet of the cell membranes during the apoptic process and the real-time loss of membrane integrity due to cytotoxicity. With the real-time glow, annexin-5, and necrosis assay, there is no guessing at optimal points to capture a response. Data is collected in real-time, so you never miss out. The combination and timing of luminescent and fluorescent signals can be used to differentiate secondary necrosis occurring during late apoptosis from necrosis caused by other cytotoxic events. Since the cells are not lysed, you can respond to what you see in real-time and use the same sample in other downstream assays. Real-time glow annexin-5 and necrosis assay allows you to collect more relevant data per sample with less time and effort using fewer plates of cells.